It's the 5th month of 2023, May, so we have a 5th release this year of Armour 3D. Now this one has 16 new progress and many new improvements to features and new features. The first one is the bump node. The bump node now works exactly how you expect it to work. You see previously this is how it looked in Blender and this is how it looked in Armoury. You see that's not the same result. It's been fixed so everything you see in Blender can now be achieved in Armour 3D when using the bump node. However, we also have an improvement to the vector clamp node. Now this is a node that I was going to talk about right after making the uh, movements video where I talked about all the different types of movement, physics and non-physics based. And the vector clamp allows you to clamp the uh, where the object is allowed to go, essentially add limits to the boundaries in your game. You see, the vector clamp only had one method of clamping that created a sort of circular uh, boundary. However, if you wanted to create a square boundary that you could get, you know, the actual vector values of the individual component, then we also have access to that property now. You see, we can choose between length and components. You can see these are the two different results you get depending on which one you choose. We have the addition of the set letterbox node and it allows you to change the setting of the letterbox at runtime so you can now create letterbox animations which previously wasn't a thing for some reason. While we're talking about this uh, whole thing about letterboxing, now all the different values of our post processing are now exposed into our logic node. So every single value that you can add into uh, Armour 3D can also be manipulated with nodes at runtime uh, also, just remember to activate real-time post-processing. I've said it in multiple post-processing videos before, but when using post-processing, you have to check that box. If not, you won't be able to use these nodes. We also have some new networking nodes. You see, these nodes, uh, you can use them to transfer information around your network scene, so you can have data being transferred throughout your multiplayer games, and it's a very cool addition to the networking structure in general. We obviously still have many bug fixes and other fixes in general, for example fixes of performance, normal vectors for instance objects are now fixed, we have uh, fixes to collection spawning and spawning groups of objects, all of these different things that uh, will give you a much better experience when using the engine, makes it all that much more stable. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this release notes video, I'll see you next month for a brand new release of Armour 3D.